India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is en route to Moscow. He will arrive there later today to attend the 22nd Indian-Russian annual summit. He is scheduled to meet Russian President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday. This is also Prime Minister Narendra Modi's first visit to Russia since its invasion of Ukraine, an issue on which New Delhi has maintained a neutral stance. It also comes at a time of growing Russia-China closeness. The two-day visit is aimed at reviewing bilateral ties between the two countries, including key areas like defense, investment, energy cooperation, education and culture. And as per Kremlin, the leaders will partake in both restricted talks as well as one involving delegations. India's External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar has said that trade ties will be at the top of the agenda. And this comes as India's import of discounted Russian crude has increased significantly since the war in Ukraine. Jay Shankar also pointed out towards a quote-unquote trade imbalance between the two countries. While Moscow's total exports to India are $65 billion worth, India's exports are only about $4 billion. India's Foreign Secretary Vinay Quatra has revealed that New Delhi is looking to expand exports across various sectors, including farm products, technology, pharmaceuticals and services. And as per India's Foreign Ministry, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will reach Moscow by today afternoon, following which President Vladimir Putin will hold a private dinner for the Indian leader, where they are expected to discuss regional and global developments of mutual interest. Just on Tuesday, Prime Minister Modi will have an in-person interaction with the Indian diaspora living in Russia. Later in the day, he will also lay wreath at the tomb of unknown soldier, a war memorial for unidentified Soviet soldiers from World War I. He will then visit Russia's state-owned nuclear energy facility, Rosatom, followed by a restricted meeting with President Putin. Although India and Russia have held annual summits since the year 2000, none have been held since President Putin visited New Delhi back in 2021. Prime Minister Modi will also talk about the Indians who were quote-unquote misled into joining the Russian army in Russia's war against Ukraine. The Prime Minister is expected to demand an earliest discharge of these people from the Russian military. Until now, at least four Indians have been killed amid the ongoing war. At least 10 Indians have been rescued, while over 20 others have contacted the Indian mission in Moscow to seek release. Earlier in May, Indian police arrested four Russian nationals involved in luring Indian people to Russia over lucrative job offers. Meanwhile, Kremlin Press Secretary Dmitry Peskov has said that the West is quote-unquote closely and jealously watching the visit. Adding, the press secretary said the Russian-Indian relations are at the level of strategic partnership. And as the Indian Prime Minister gears up to meet members of the Indian diaspora, our principal diplomatic correspondent Sadhan Sibul has sent us a report from the venue in Moscow. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be addressing the Indian diaspora here in Moscow on Tuesday. Now, we know that this is the first bilateral visit of the Indian Prime Minister in his third term. And during his foreign visits abroad, previously also, he has met diaspora. It has been a permanent fixture and it's no different this time around. Now, several Indians have made Russia their home. Many of them are Indian students who have been studying here in Russia for medical education, for technological education as well, for sciences. Uh, and Prime Minister will be meeting them, talking their issues, talking about India's growth trajectory as well. But all in all, we know that this is a visit uh, that has many firsts, including, of course, uh, the first visit since the Russia-Ukraine conflict as well. And essentially, the prime focus will be the India-Russia summit, where there will be focus on convergences and some issues as well, including the Indians in the Russian army. With video journalist Neeraj Patel, Chidhan Sibal for Vion in Moscow, Russia.